Today should be a bit of fun. I'm gonna answer a question that I've had for a long time and it's gonna be the metric that I'll add to any further trainer that I actually get a hold of. I went and bought a power meter. Now, not the power meter you think I'm talking about, a power meter for the wall. 30 bucks and as part of the course with cheap power meters, the first one didn't work. I had to return it to the store, got one that worked and what can I do with that? I have a Kicker, a Neo and a Cubo Digital Smart Elite Plus D that whatever yeah I've linked link below how much draw is there when it's not in use how much draw does it take when you are using it 100 watts 200 watts 300 watts programmable but I can't figure it's just going to be used to see the watts in real time let's get up go down and find out Interesting issue I didn't even take into account. What's happening is, depending on what gear and what RPM you're in, it uses different power from the wall. So I'm gonna to have to set my benchmark at 5317, 5318 on the back, and I'll go at about 100 RPM, and I'll do those across the power zones. What's happening is, in the 5311, there's a lot of inertia in the flywheel. It doesn't have to grab a lot of power to apply 100 watts at the lower range. If you're in the 50, sorry, if you're in the 3925, there's a bit more resistance required to push over the pedal stroke. If you've got a kicker, you'll know what I mean. But it actually pulls more power out of the wall depending on what gear you're in. That's an interesting little hurdle. So we're setting it at 100 RPM, 53, 17, 18 on the back, and we'll use that across the baseline. Time to get pedaling. So we've got some numbers for the kicker, which we'll go through now. It uses surprisingly little watts. I thought there'd be a lot more wattage used out of the wall. Let's have a quick look at the raw figures I've got for the kicker. Now what's onto the Neo? So the Neo on standby, 5.5 watts, that's significantly greater than the kicker. Probably worth turning the Neo off too if you're not using it. 5.5 watts. Hmm. So the Neo doesn't use any power at all when you're actually riding the thing. It uses 0.2 to 0.3 of a watt. No matter what resistance you're pushing, 0.2 to 0.3 of a watt. When you stop pedaling though, it has to pull power out of the wall. It's about 5.5 watts when the fans aren't spinning. If the fans are spinning and it's cooling down, it's around about 7.5 to 8 watts. That's only temporary though until the system cools down. Very interesting numbers. The brick is rated at 40 watts, 5.5 watts when it's just doing nothing for the system to be on, I guess. And when you're riding in the zones, free energy. So some really interesting numbers came out of that. I've been wanting to do that experiment for a long time and I've finally found a cheap wall power meter and a way to do it. So hopefully you found that interesting. I'll put the full graphs and numbers up on my blog. I'll put a link below. But I guess the summary of that was the kicker itself on standby uses 0.5 of a watt, so not a lot. 
and as you increase your power, the power usage goes up. But that does depend on what gear you're in and how much resistance it has to push in. So that was that test was done in 53, 19, 53, 18 on the back at 100 RPM. When my cadence dropped below 100 and the kicker really had to bite some more uh, resistance into the unit, the power usage went up. So I had to keep the that keep a level playing field, I guess you'd call it, to get my numbers right. But I guess it's the same across the board. If you're at 80 RPM and did all these tests, it'd probably be the same linear graph as you'll see just here. I'll, I'll put the graph up just here. The Neo, 5.5 watts on standby. I'm not sure if it goes to sleep after half an hour. It hasn't gone to sleep yet. I'll leave it here overnight on the power meter and see if it actually goes to sleep. I'm hoping after probably 10 minutes or maybe half hour it goes to sleep, but for it to draw five watts non-stop when it's plugged in, and when the system's in use, it using 0.2 to 0.3 of a watt, so next to nothing. The Cubo, uh, 0.9 of a watt, and the same as well, flatlined. That was a tire on trainer. Look, I'll include this metric now in every review that I do of a smart trainer. I think it's quite interesting, so I'll include it. A lot of my content is the things that I'm keen on and what I'm looking into on a day-to-day -day basis. As I've said in the past, I've been doing this for a while on the blog. Video is only the new part. So any new trainer that I get, I'll be bringing my power meter along, plugging it in, seeing what it does, and doing this exact same step test. I think it's an important metric to know. If it's gonna be using, five, if the Neo uses five watts when it's not in use, what's the, the hammer going to use? What's the next version of the kicker gonna use? So how do I get my hands on some new trainers? Well, I have a passport, I've got tickets to Eurobike, I'm out of here next week. Look out Europe. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.